Gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome, everybody. Comes to our series of lecture on green agriculture, technology, and engineering. Today, our topics about the green production, consumption, and processing throughout the world, and our topics include three parts. The first one is green production in world and the second one was green consumption and trade in world and the third part is about the green processing in world okay first we will talk about the first one green production in world as we know <coughs> Green is the main food crops and the important commodity green variety of all the world. From 1961 to 2013 years, 75 million tons of green yield as seed annual year, and the total area green harvest annual average was about 694 million hectares. And the total green output was about 1.76 billion tons. From the FAO statistic data, we can see that from 1961 to 2013 years, the change role of the world green harvest area like the wheat. Look at the Life graph. We can see that from 1961 years to 2013 years, the world green harvest area increased significantly. In 1981, the world green harvest area reached highest level with a total area uh, of 700 and 27 million hectares. From 1981 to 2002 years, the total area of the world green house area reduced sharply. In 2002 years, the green total harvest area of all the world reduced to 661 million hectares. Compared to 1981, the green total harvest area reduced about 9.1%. Since 2003 years, the world's total green harvest area has been increasing, increased by 1% every year. In 2013 years, the green, the total green harvest area was reached 722 million hectares, nearly to 1981 years, the highest level in history. Wheat, rice, and maize are three major green crops of the world. They are also the three most important trade stable foods of the world. So, people are of particular concern for the three major green crops production status are of the world. This picture gives us some information about the world wheat production status. Wheat is the world's major food crops and it is also the world's important commodity green and the main varieties of green reserves. From 1961 to 2013 years, 32.1 million tons of wheat 
used as seed annual year, and the total annual wheat harvest annual average was about 221 million hectares, and the total wheat output was about 486 million tons. China and the United States, Canada, Australia, Russia, France, Brazil, Argentina are also the major wheat producing countries of the world. From 1961 to 2000, under 30 years, the total area of annual wheat harvest over the nine countries was about 140 million hectares. And the total output of annual wheat production are over the world are over the nine countries was about two hundred and seventy million tons. Rice is another one most important grain of the world. The FAO stated shows that from nineties. City one to to Sona and thirteen years, seventy million tons rice used as seed annual year, and the total annual rice harvested was about one hundred and forty three million hectares, and the total rice output was about four hundred and seventy two million tons. From the FAO statistic data, we can see that from 1961 to 2013 years, world rice harvest area has been increasing significantly year by year. And the changed role of the world rice harvest area like a line. This picture uh, gives us some information about the rice production status of the main rice producing countries. From this picture, we can see that China, India, Thailand, Vietnam, and Europe are the major rice producing countries all over the world. China and India are the biggest rice year countries of the world. From the FAO statistic data, we can see that from 1961 to 2013 years, in China and India, the total area of annual rice harvest was about 73 million hectares. It was about 51% of the total harvest area of the world rice. And the total output of annual rice production in China and India was about 255 million tons. It was about 34.4% of the total world rice output. This picture gives us some information about the world maize production status. The FAO statistic shows that from 1986 to 2018 years, 6.3 million tons of maize used as seed every year, and the total area maize harvest annually average was about 132 million hectares and the total maize output was about 492 million tons. From the FAO statistic data, we can see that from 1961 to 2013 years, World maize harvest area has been increasing significantly year by year, and the changed role of the world maize harvest area was also like a line.
The United States, China, and Brazil are the three most important maize producing countries of the world. The FL statistics show that from 1961 to 2013 years, in the most important maize producing countries, the total area of annual maize harvest was about 61 million hectares. It was about 46% of the total harvest area of the world maize. And the total output of annual maize production in these most important maize producing countries was about 340 million tons. It was about 64% of the total world maize output. Okay, from the above content, uh, we briefly introduce some information about the green production in the world. And next, uh, we will talk about some information about the green consumption and the tree in the world. The FAO statistics show that from 1961 to 2012 years, the amount of the world green import and export have been increasingly consecutively. China is one of the most uh, important green importers countries in the world. From the FAO statistics data, we can see that from 1961 to 2012 years, the average annual total green import in China was about 12.8 million tons, account for 6.1% of the world total annual average green import. This picture gives us some information about the world green consumption and trade status. The FL statistic shows that from 1961 to 2012, the amount of the world wheat import and export have been also increasing consecutively. And the United States is one of the most important wheat importers in the world. China is one of the most important wheat import countries in the world. From 1961 to 2012 years, the average annual total weight import was about 27 million tons in the United States, accounting for 29% of the world's total annual average weight import. And the average annual total weight import in China was about 6.7 million tons, accounting for 7.4% of the world's total annual average weight import. This picture gives us some information about the wheat consumption and the trade status of the major green producing countries. And from this picture, we can see some information about the world rice consumption and the trade status. The FAO statistics show that from 1961 to 2012 to years, the amount of the world rice import and import have been also increasing consecutively. In 1961, the total amount of the world rice import was about 6.5 million tons. And in 2012, the total amount of the world rice import reached about 37.7 million tons.
This picture gives us some information about the world maize consumption and trade status. Maize is the main green variety of world food trade, and the FAO statistics show that from 1961 to 2012 years, the amount of the world maize import and export have been also increasing consecutively. And uh, the import growth was significantly higher than the imports growth. The United States is the most important uh, maize import country in the world. From 1961 to 2012 years, the every annual total maize import was about 38.9 million tons in the United States, accounting for 80% of the world's total annual average maize import and the average annual total maize import trade volume in the United States was about $5 billion, accounting for 13.7% of the world's total annual average maize import trade volume. And caused by population, the rate of economic development as well as uh, many countries' national economic uh, policies, such as uh, bare mass energy and uh, many other factors. I think green consumption in the world will maintain a growth monetary in the next 10 years. And uh, we think in to sun and twenty years, the price of green will be around two hundred and forty dollars one ton. Okay, from the above uh, content, we briefly introduce uh, some information about the green consumption and trade in world. And next, uh, we will talk about uh, some information about the green processing in world. First, uh, we will talk about some information about the wheat processing industry in developed countries. The first one, we look about some information about the U.S wheat processing industry. There are 23 flour corporations, including 140 mills in the United States, and the capacity of wheat processing is around 8 million tons one day, or 92% of total production in the United States. In Canada, there are uh, 70, uh, 27 flour operations. In Canada, there are 27 flour operations, and the capacity of wheat processing uh, is around 9,000 uh, tons one day. And in Australia, there are over 5 100 flour factors have turned into 42 flour cooperations. This picture should ask some information about the wheat processing industry in France, Germany, and Japan. Japan is the largest wheat importer in the world. Annual imports was about 500 and 60 million tons. And the uh, domestic output is uh, 83 million tons. It can only meet 10% of its demand.
The technology of weight processing is mainly created three aspects. Primary processing, deep processing, and comprehensive utilization. Weight milling is the main processing form of weight process. After milling of weight, we can get the main production, wheat flour. And after the deep processing of wheat, we can get the main production, such as wheat starch, wheat gluten, and uh, other products. And uh, the comprehensive utilization, including taking use of the bran and the flour and the wheat germ. Wheat starch can be used in many aspects like printing and dyeing and chemical, biomass energy and so on. And the wheat gluten can be used in food or feed. This is the technology about the rice processing. The technology of rice uh, processing is also mainly uh, including the aspect. And the first one is the primary processing. The second one was the deep processing and uh, like the wheat. The third one is the cooperative utilization. Uh, the product of rice processing mainly include the rice, Rice flour, rice husk, bran, and uh, broken rice. And uh, after the rice uh, deep processing, we can get the rice protein, rice starch, and uh, other products like uh, wood fired starch uh, and uh, the written starch, slowly digestible starch, and so on. This is one of the rice uh, processing process. After the party husking, we can get the different products uh, like cooked food materials and uh, fast food products uh, and the raw food materials uh, and the raw medicine materials. The output of maize all over the world is about uh, 700 million tons. United States can account for more than 40% of it, about uh, 300 million tons. The United States maize processing is truly comprehensive utilized. They are mainly used for industrial feeding and uh, food industrial. Fuel ethanol consumption account for a large proportion of maize in the United States. And the comprehensive <coughs> utilization pro produced production of maize include uh, maize oil, maize gluten meal, and the feed. This is uh, one of the maize processing process. Uh, after the maize uh, processing, we can get different uh, products like uh, uh, edible and uh, zinc fibers and uh, feed yeast and uh, food additives and so on. And this is another one of the maize processing process. Uh, after this processing, uh, we can get the pellet feed. Uh, but uh, also we can get the sugar and the ethanol productions. Okay, that's all. Uh, above is our lecture content. Thank you for your attention. See you. Thank you.